Hey everyone, and welcome to another video by me. Uh, this one is actually gonna be uh really well edited, cause inspiration is be by Marcus Brownlee and other tech YouTubers. Cause uh, when I made my YouTube channel, I said, hey, I wanna be a tech channel just for some reason. And, um, and I thought I would bring that theme back by doing a camera bag video. So, oh, I just threw um a bunch of my expensive um, equipment. Uh, it was pretty scary. So, um, so with the camera bag, um, there's gonna be a lot of gear, but a lot of gear is gonna be missing, cause, um, I'm using a lot of the gear to make this video right now. So, let's uh, get to the bag. Alright, so as you see here, you might think that, uh, extra slot, some holy thingies, this is for your tripod. I can't show you my tripod since I'm using it right now, um, I made a review on it. I'm pretty sure it's a it's a new rear tripod. The tripod is really well made. The build quality is absolutely amazing, and it's really heavy. So I use this part. All right, moving on to the first layer of the backpack. This is the laptop slot. I don't have a laptop since I use a desktop to edit my videos. Um, but I'm definitely saving my laptop soon. Um. And since we're talking about computers, I kind of just want to talk about my mouse. It's this mouse. Um, even though it's a wireless to sensor on this mouse is amazing. Oh, it's a wireless mouse. It's really comfortable. It, the ergonomics are amazing. You might think I sound dumb. I probably do sound dumb. But this is a really enjoyable mouse. Now cracking to the main part of the camera bag. You have where all the gear is. And you might be wondering, hey! A lot of the gear is missing, so I want to tell you where uh, most of the gear is. So here is where the microphone is supposed to be, and here is where my uh, camera is supposed to be. The Canon 80D, it's an absolutely amazing camera, and my uh, and my microphone is a Taxstar SCG5986. I the numbers are confusing, but uh, we don't like talking about numbers. So this per per gear ball head. Ooh, isn't it such an amazing ball head? So let's talk about this per gear ball head. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've talked about this ball head before, but the panning feature on this it's buttery smooth. The panning on this ball ball head is buttery smooth. Um, the one on the ball head on the Joby tripod, it's all right, but this one, it it's absolutely amazing. I fell in love with how buttery smooth this is, so I always carry this around when I'm doing like. A landscape shot. Alright, now let's talk about my favorite lens. Uh, this is a photography lens. It's a 70 to 200. I absolutely love this lens. Whenever I'm traveling or getting going anywhere with just my camera, I don't use the kit lens. Uh, I usually bring this lens because uh, the imitation factor, uh, intimidation factor, and I like attention. So <laughs> this lens brings a lot of it. You have to get compliments like, wow, this lens is a big lens. And if you're wondering what the lens is, uh, first of all, it's an L lens. So that means expensive already. Let me bring down the lighting. As you can see, it's Canon Zoom 24-70 F4. It's an L. That red ring means uh, luxury. But uh, since I'm a gearhead, I just can't stop talking about this lens. And also, when I'm traveling and doing uh, travel vlogs, uh, I carry this around. This is a Joby Gorillapod. I also made a comparison with a cheap knockoff version um, versus the authentic one. And ooh, just get a good view of that Joby in the Boca background. Ooh, the background is so blurry. I absolutely, absolutely in love with the bokeness. So, um, let's talk about the lens on top, of, in front of my camera. I'm currently saving for a Tokina 11 to 20 2.8, but for right now, I um, I'm using a kit lens in 18 to 55, 3.5 to 5.6. It's not impressive at all, but it gets the job done as image stabilization. Here's uh, the next layer. This is a pretty big part of all my camera equipment. Let me unzip it. I'm actually going to move the camera bag. 
because it doesn't fall fall all the way. But you may be wondering, what is this for? Uh, this is where I put my light. Um, the light that I'm using right now, it's an amazing light. I'm pretty sure BuzzFeed uses the exact same light for their on-camera, uh, light. Which is what I'm doing right now. Um, but I can't show you the light, cause, you know, I need that good lighting. And, uh, down here, this is my, uh, what do you call this? This is, like, your... This is your iPhone accessory kit. So if you don't have your camera with you and all you have is your uh, all you have is your phone, this has a an ad it has a bunch of adapters to hook up uh, to your phone and make it like a professional rig. Uh, and here, here, here's just a necklace. It was, it was like a nerd camp that I went to. It it was amazing. I just want to show you it. Wait, where's the light? Michael has my name on it. And there it is. Oh yeah, we had nicknames and my name was Ego. Wow. Okay, so here, you might be wondering what this is. Uh, this is tempered glass for the camera screen. It protects the, the LCD screen, so if it cracks, the tempered glass cracks. And you might be wondering, hey, what are these wires? Um, this is my card reader. Without this, I wouldn't be able to transfer files from my camera to my computer really well. And I absolutely love this thing. Like, I genuinely love this thing. It's a USB 3. Um, it matches my really fast... <laughs> time to start bragging. It matches my really fast um, SD card. It's 128. And it, uh, and it writes up to 95 megabits a second. Which, if you know about cameras and, like, gear and stuff, you, you know that's, that's really impressive. But there's, like, mm, there's other stuff. Okay, here, here, here's a, okay, this is a really small light. The light that I'm using right now is way bigger than this. This is what I do when I'm recording on my iPhone. This should go with the iPhone kit, but this is also an extra light. Uh, it's, it's pretty decent. I would still recommend the light that I'm using right now, but I always carry this around just in case. And there's nothing else except this Aki thing. I have an iPhone lens, which I don't have in my backpack right now, but it's a wide angle iPhone lens. And um, I may also need a V on it, and it's really, really nice. It's made by Aki. I honestly love the brand Aki. Whenever you buy something, you get a sticker, and I put the sticker on top of my uh, LCD screen. And that is what the main part of my camera bag is. Uh, as you can see, right here, it's an Amazon's basic backpack for traveling and here's the sh the strappy thing is if you were wondering just overall a really nice camera and also with this side pocket on this side pocket it's just uh two extra camera batteries i'm using i have three can camera batteries i have one for my camera one for my light and one extra just in case if you're wondering why do you use the camera light uh camera battery for your light um, the camera bat camera batteries have a lot of power, and due to the adapter, I'll actually show you. I could put this on my camera, like, which, if I put the camera battery on, it'll boost the light a lot. Well, that is the video for this week. I really hope you enjoyed it, um, and stay tuned for next week. I post weekly on Wednesdays at 4 Pacific Time. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. Wait, wait, I have more tech. Uh, here's a camera. This camera is absolutely terrible. I don't. Manual settings are really hard to control. Sony is just overall confusing. I do not recommend this. Uh, it's like around $100. I just have this. Why well, won't it focus right there? Yeah, it's like my uncle's camera that I was borrowing. Hey.
yeah, she gave it back to 